Let's create this really cool artwork together step by step in Photoshop. So I will start by creating new layer and use the lasso tool or L on the keyboard and just create some kind of a ground here and fill it with black. Alt and backspace or option and backspace on a Mac. Then I will create a new layer down below by holding control command key and again just create some kind of ground here. Okay and then I will fill it with a little bit brighter tones so some kind of dark gray tone something like that so just to separate two plans we have a front plan middle plan and then we will have a back plan also and let's create in the same plane right here but on a new layer i will create some kind of a tree okay this will be a trunk and this is just a silhouette of a trunk so this is trunk number one because we will have more of them this is first plane or front plane maybe it's better front plane this is middle plane uh, or opposite yeah opposite this is front and this is middle so let's rename it okay now that we have this we can change few things here and there go to the trunk and alt and backspace and just create different shape and now I will put the car in and for the car we have several different options they're all great so my favorite one is to use blender 3d software and use this really cool Land Rover that I got from CG Trader and just position the lights camera angles and so on and so forth render it out and place it there in our artwork in case you don't know how to use blender this is a perfect time to learn it. I created a brand new channel. It's called 3D, not 2D. It's dedicated for 3D stuff for Blender. And I already uploaded there a few beginner tutorials where you can learn all from interface to all the basic tools. And in the future, we will cover a lot of things and more advanced and so on and so forth. So check out the link down there in the description and subscribe to that channel in case you like to learn 3D. So in case you don't like to learn 3D, there is another option so for example to go to Envato elements and just download their 3d models they're amazing they have millions of assets right there on the site uh, from photos videos audio files but 3d models are my favorite part because as you can see you can rotate them and position them however you want and download it as png or psd psd is you can separate the shadows and uh, object in different layers so however you want and just use that for your artwork. Also, they have a bunch of different vehicles, etc. And also, amazing uh, is that they have a bunch of trees, bushes, etc. Also, this alien that we will use for our artwork. But again, you can go to any other free stock websites like unsplash.com or pixabay.com, pexels.com, and download anything from their uh, database. But uh, I like to use Envato Elements. This is not a sponsor video by any means. Uh, they are not paying me for this. I really like to use them. Uh, you have the link down in the description, which is affiliate link. So if you uh, get a subscription there, I would get some bonus. And also currently in until the April 28th, so the Friday, there is a flash sale. So for the yearly plan, you will get 30% of the price, which is amazing. And for the monthly plan, you will get 40% of the price. So check it out. The link is down there in the description, whatever you want. Okay, let's go back to the Photoshop. And I will go and put the car right here that I will flip horizontally. And this is this is it. Obviously, I want to make it a lot smaller. Something like that. And let's see. This will be behind the middle plan like that. And I will call this not the car test, but just Land Rover, for example. OK, that's cool. And uh, yeah, I can put it somewhere here and I can also go and above the car here on the middle ground, I can create some kind of grass, which will be amazing. I will use Photoshop grass brush. It's somewhere down there in legacy brushes. And yeah, I will use that. And also in order to use it like this, you need to press F5 and by default, these two are checked, color dynamics and transfer. You want to uncheck this and then I will go here to the middle plan and just use that brush and paint a little bit of the grass just add a little bit more interest to the scene okay something like that also here by the tree and we will see maybe we later add even more who knows but 
for now this this seems pretty nice okay that looks decent also let's go here to the land rover and let's move it somewhere here for example i don't have idea where but somewhere here because i want to add another tree so i will go to the front plan create a new layer and with the lasso tool i will just create some kind of a tree shape like that and i will fill it with a black sample this time by holding alt or option key and alt and backspace voila we have a tree here so two different plants maybe maybe like that also i got already here the bushes from Envato elements so this kind of rose bush but this doesn't matter which one it is because i will put it all the way up right here and uh, i will create a group control command g name this bush bushes maybe and let me show you a trick i can go all the way up and uh, i can clip this and paint into black because now i want to move these bushes control command t here make a copy of it maybe one here and make it smaller so again transform it with control command t maybe i want one somewhere here doesn't matter just just for fun let's make it a bit bigger something like this and we are just adding even more interest to the scene okay now what we can do we can paint the trees for the background all the way back or we can get go with the easier way i will go with the easier way but i will show you how we can do that if you want to create your custom trees there so all the way behind the land rover i will create a new layer and i will use either brush tool or lasso tool or whatever and just start making something like like this so see and then i will choose this stone and i can create one tree trunk so also uh, i can use a brighter one to make impression that it is further away in the scene and use this hard brush and for example this will be like a little bit maybe a little bit more like this so another tree there and like that you can you can add the branches you can add whatever you want here and there and populate this with that it will be good but you need to invest a little bit of the time i will delete that and i also got this really cool background from envato elements i will make it bigger okay and yeah so it's already a lot of trees there but uh, i don't want to have it blue so i will go right here hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it effect only the background and lower that to have all black and white also this track here can go and uh, copy this hue and saturation adjustment layer and have it black and white so i want to have everything black and white and later i will colorize that in one really cool way so this is cool also with the background we can do something here we can either use curves adjustment layers and maybe maybe wash out the blacks a little bit because you know if this is black and this is second plan here ah, it's a little bit not logical so it needs to be even brighter or the same tone with this because it's even further away so i like it like that i will leave it and this already has really nice feel here so let me see if i will bring it a little bit more up or no maybe like that and uh, yeah what, what's the issue here is that there are no issues i really like how this looks let's add our alien to the scene okay right there i will make it smaller i will put it somewhere here it's running away from the car these guys are chasing him and also i want to have the same tone as this my middle ground here because it's in the same plane so i will create a new layer use brush sample this stone and alt click in between these two layers to affect to, uh, to clip only this layer to the running alien one because it will affect only that and alt and backspace and voila we have it so this is beautiful and we will see where i will put this one maybe here maybe here i don't know we'll see and also about the background you can play a lot with that you can stretch it you can make it bigger you cannot make it too smaller but you can make it bigger 
maybe maybe stretch it let's see what happens if we just stretch it a bit or maybe like oh maybe like that maybe narrow it down this seems really cool i will take it like this so the alien looks cool everything looks cool now what we need to do is maybe to add a little bit more branches so let's go to one that i like download this one so this is a 3d element again from envato elements and um, let's put it here and also yeah because this is uh, like this uh, these bushes here i can move it in the same folder same group and yeah this is cool so this is what we want i can duplicate it Control command j and just maybe add a little bit more here make it smaller maybe just a touch like that and that's cool also we can put it on the other side why not or maybe for the other side just not to repeat too much that we can add this tree that will make it bigger and just use some portion of that tree right here but also i don't want it in this group i will go all the way here behind the middle plan like there and i will clip this and use the same tone and fill it like we did with the alien so yeah this is really cool so let's see if we rotate this maybe like that makes sense okay we can add even more details there whatever we want let me show you a really cool trick with the background so maybe i want to have it even darker there is a really cool trick for that i can go and uh, add right here at the bottom solid color adjustment layer it won't be so visible but i will make it dark like that and now if i double click on this forest and go right here and i say okay i don't want this white to be shown here but i also want alt and drag just to make really softer transition so like that that looks decent let me see mm -mm. yeah maybe like like this and now this doesn't look so good but we need just to change the color of this background layer so it was white practically and we can make it a little bit darker to create really cool effect so that's one way another way i'll show you in a moment but also we can make a copy of the same background Control command j and this one right here i will move this down clip it to affect only that one too so yeah I don't want to move it actually i want alt and move to copy it perfect and now we can flip it Control command t flip horizontal and add even more vegetation if you want you can make it bigger you can scale it do whatever you want just to add it a little bit more if you want to create like more dense forest right there why not let me see before yeah and after seems really cool we can do that we can also add a layer mask and use a brush and brush out a few things if you don't like maybe like there is a mist at the top of this one but but we will do that later i will come to that so now what i like to do let's this is front plan front plan front plan everything is front plan so on control command g and name this front plan and this is middle one and these are trees and land rover and so on and so forth i will go all the way up and i will use gradient map so i want to colorize this i want to use let me show you really quickly here basics blues blues yeah i want to use this one this is cool this already looks nice like it's a night scene in a forest we'll add some lights here and everything will make more sense but i want to move this one somewhere here and to create a new here by clicking just on it and choose black color this is much better so also this one maybe if we move it here and, and there it will have different feelings so try experiment for yourself and yeah so this maybe i will leave it just let me see just like this let's press ok and for now this is cool and uh, now here if we if we even hide this hue and saturation adjustment layers everything will be cool because 
we already added this one at the top. So let me see. I like this one, but I need to add this one here too and maybe make it even brighter. Like it's all the way back there. So this is not good, but even brighter seems more logical. And also this one, let's see if we add a little bit more brightness here and there. I really like it. Okay, so let's see the Jeep right here. Land Rover, I want to make it a bit bigger. Like, like that. Let me see, maybe even more. And now let's add some lights here to make this even more interesting. I will create a new layer at the top of everything. Car lights. Okay, and I will use brush and some kind of yellowish orange tone. We can also change the color later. Let's see, this looks decent. I will just go and uh, yeah, make it less saturated like that. Or no, or maybe make it darker, you will see. And click here and drag by holding shift. So I'm just dragging straight lines. So click, hold shift and drag like that. Control or command T and just go right click perspective and then move this one up. So you want something like this and want to move, yeah, we want to go back to the free transform and move this one uh, um, away by holding nothing, just move it. And I like it this way. Also, I will go and create a mask here. Go here with the gradient. I want black, so I want here the basics. This one in the middle color to transparent. So if I have a black color here, it will be black. But if I have a red color, it will be red to transparent. So basically, I want black to transparent. And I just want to make this even more transparent, like, like that, something like that. Why not? And move this from normal to color, linear dodge or screen or color dodge. Color dodge seems cool also, but yeah, I like this one too. So maybe this one. And yeah, I can again go to transform and right click perspective and just move this a little bit more, more down. And I want to move the alien. So let's hide this, go to the alien. I will make a group here alien. And let's see if I want to move the alien even more here or no. Now this is a personal preference. You can do whatever you want here. What I like to do is to maybe lower the opacity of the light. Also, I want to move this a little bit down and lights a little bit up, but I want this center here of rotation, so a little bit up. This seems cool. And now the alien will go here, add a mask, and if we hide this, it will be this color, but what we want to do here is to go on that mask with really nice soft brush around maybe 40% softness and go and create rim light. So I want to hide the light here just to see what we are doing or maybe not. Yeah, this looks cool. Like that, maybe it's not so visible, but it will be. We'll make it a bit brighter also here. Yeah. Like that. So basically what I like to do now is to make a copy of this alien and put it above the gradient here, okay? And I will use this and invert the same mask, Control Command I. Uh, yeah, not the layer, but the mask. Okay, so I have just this yellow tint around it. So this is really cool. And also about the lights. See, if I put lights behind, below the gradient map, they will be like bluish and we don't want that. So this is cool. And uh, this also looks cool. So let's see, yeah, I will leave it like that. Also with the gradient, I will 
lower the intensity here a little bit more like that and also I will move the alien everything so alien and this and this and this everything that is in the group I will move it a little bit more forward here yeah maybe here maybe it's better maybe make everything bigger so right here like that like it's not a huge alien but still maybe that's not bad let's see with the car what we want to do so land rover here and uh, let's group this and name it also guys if you want to download this psd file right here you can check out the link down there in the description and get it at my patreon so let's make the jeep bigger I just want to see how this is doing so a little bit bigger maybe yeah maybe like that and this is maybe too big so let's compromise between all the things there so let's see yeah i want it like that and then i will make a few changes here this is cool maybe bring it a little bit forward and see this shadow right there we can either delete the shadow and add, or add a little bit more grass so the middle plan right here i can add a little bit more grass with with by hiding the gradient map and just add a little bit more grass here aggressive because it's aggressive okay so i like it this way perfect and we can add a little bit more lights to the jeep itself again so here are the car lights and this is the back lights. Okay, and I will group this and name this lights or car lights. And yeah, maybe we can make this front just to name it a little bit better. So back lights, again, I will go with linear dodge blending mode and I will use red color and I will use soft brush and here I want to add something like this but also I will go with a little bit brighter tone and with a little bit smaller brush so here like that see mm -hmm. really nice we can also put these lights on if we want so just just to show you if I make a copy of these lights and bring it right here and like rotate it a little bit down and make it more like that that's another option maybe maybe if you want to do that i'm not sure maybe it's too much but we can also go and add a human saturation to that one and lower the saturation a bit actually i'll lower the saturation of both both lights maybe this is green or i don't know I'm just experimenting. So if we lower the saturation of this one too, maybe this looks better. Yeah, maybe this looks better. So yeah, this is pretty decent, but maybe like this is more interesting. I'm not sure. So let me know down there in the comments do you like more like with these uh, lights at the top of the vehicle or without it so i'm not sure but i know i i'm sure that i want to add here another light so i will create a new light and this is bright tone and i want to use like i don't know really bright tone and again into linear dodge blending mode and I want to end like this and like this and repeat the same procedure like we did but a little bit smaller like that and everything ooh, come on like that and I will make everything smaller so I'm just making everything a little bit more smaller and again with a gradient here black tone Just adding more details here not bad I'm not sure about the top lights here 
Should I leave it? Or maybe less. Ah, they are, they should be even brighter than this. Maybe I'm I'm not sure, but maybe like that. If I make a copy of this, Control Command J. Wow. But I don't want to make it so crazy. So this is one way how we can do it. Also, let me show you a really cool thing here that I just came up, uh, that came just uh, at my mind, at my mind, just came here in the, in the uh, my thoughts. So I will use elliptical marquee tool, make a moon and fill it with this really nice yellow tone. And we have a moon that is a crazy color because yeah, we need to put it all the way up like that. And now, yeah, we want to put the moon behind the trees. So how to do that? Well, double click on it, go to blend if because we don't want moon to be shown where the black parts are of the layers below. So like that and just experiment with this. So yeah, maybe maybe we don't need to actually split this too much. And now if you move this, see how crazy it is. It's crazy. Something here is happening. That that's because alien run through the tree. That's crazy. So everything is cool, but alien run through the tree actually because of these bright parts. But we want the moon to be somewhere there. And I, I can blur it a bit. Yeah, Gaussian blur. So let's see. I just want to blur it a bit. And also I want to add another tone here. Just a little bit, maybe like like that, or maybe even more. Let's see. Maybe less. Like that, and then double click again and do the same. So come on. I just don't want this to be visible on the bright parts, but just a touch of that brightness from behind. Also, maybe the moon is too much currently. Maybe, maybe there is no moon at all. Maybe just this light because I like it. Yeah, I will hide the moon, but you know now how I can do it if you want it. So this is it. Okay, I will go back down with these backgrounds and I leave it like that. So let's see what I like to do. Also, this is too mm, boring. So I will add a uh, grass right here. Right click, go to my grass brush and use black tone. And, and I want to be brighter. So yeah, when you're sampling the tone, oh, I want to pass it 100%. Try to hide the gradient here because it can mess up with the colors. I want to have a little bit more here, maybe even more, even dense, like that. And yeah, and this bush right there, I can make it much bigger because it's somewhere here near the camera. So. Yeah, this seems really nice and we can have a fun a little bit. So we can add this guy. Let me show you a really cool trick. We can add the silhouette of this alien right there. Like it's currently a silhouette because it's in this group, but I want to add it all the way up here and add exposure adjustment layer, clip it effect only this guy and make it black. And now like he is waving to his friend. Come on, come on, I'm here. Run away, run away, run away. Maybe we can like leave it like that. Oh, come on. Or, <laughs> or maybe let's go here and and make it like it's waving right somewhere here. Let's delete him. I don't like him. Oh, I don't like anything. Maybe here, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Really, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe I should delete it, but it's really cool to know that that's a possibility right there. So probably I will stop here 
the idea is that you, you can do whatever you want. I will stop here maybe because see the Jeep is a little bit darker than this front plane. It's a little bit strange blend. So we can go to the Land Rover and uh, create a new layer. And I want to hide my gray, uh, not this, but uh, gradient map and sample this gray tone, okay? And then go back to that layer. And if I fill that layer, now this is much better, but it's a too much. Yeah, too much. So I don't want that like too much. Um, what we can do here is double click and say, I don't want this on the bright parts. Here, I don't want here. Now let's see how this looks much better. So we have that backlight over there. And yeah, this is much better. So this is cool, but uh, you know why I don't like it, but this is much better. This is really nice alien chase right here. So this guy is chasing the alien. The alien is a little bit bigger. Maybe, maybe if we want to make the alien a little bit smaller, we can do that with all of these layers, control command T, and we can make the alien smaller. Maybe it's better. I'm not sure. And you know what, what we can do just as a test, we can go right here about the, the alien and now about everything and create a new layer. So let's go all the way up here. This is, this is light leak if this is how we spell it. So we can go all the way here and name this tree. And I can create some really huge tree here. Like that and fill it with the black. And um, it's strange tree. <laughs> this is really strange here. But let's see now, fill it with the black. Also, I don't like this, so we can just delete this. And by having this here, we have a little bit more depth, but now we don't see the alien. What is this guy chasing? Or maybe here, or maybe here. I'm not sure. Or if we make it a little bit more narrow, just to have some kind of a tree here. I'm not sure if this is good to divide the uh, composition into half. Probably not, especially not this, but maybe maybe here or maybe, maybe here. I'm not sure I would like to have it, but probably some other time in some other composition here. Let me try something. Let's bend this. Let's bend this a little bit. Um, no, I don't like it. But that was a decent idea that we didn't make as a plan. So like that, it will be nice. Okay, now let's merge everything together. Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E, convert to smart object and go to filter camera filter. And let's do a little bit of color grading here. We can have a little bit of fun. We can go to any of these tones that we want or oh, green, green yellow look, or maybe more like bluish magenta, or I'm not sure because maybe because it's alien, a little bit of the green cinematic, a little bit more contrast here. Exposure can go up and down. Shadows, hmm, see, I don't like the shadows to boost too much, but I want highlights a little bit down, maybe whites a little bit up, something like this. And yeah, something like that. I want texture and clarity to boost it up, but not like that, obviously, just a bit. And also haze, we can add some smoke. We could add some smoke, but I didn't. So we can add some haze here. It doesn't look bad, maybe a little bit like that. And also here about the effects, vignetting that I like, maybe a touch or doesn't have sense here. Mm, so we can skip it. Let's see. 
if we add a little bit more greenish tone to the blacks not bad maybe I should should add a bit and maybe to highlights a little bit of the red just a little bit like that and maybe boost the highlights a little bit more this looks cool and this is our final result so this type of artwork is really similar to our 2d drawing series that uh, we have on this channel and if you want to learn more about that check out the next video right here